We got a semi tonight in the Copa Farella. Tomorrow it's Netherlands, England. Tonight it's Argentina, Canada, it's Snoopy and East Rutherford. And then uh, tomorrow will be the other semi in the Copa, which is going to be fantastic. Uruguay and Colombia. And Colombia has been absolutely kicking everyone's ass. They beat Panama, what, 5 nothing the other day? I mean, they mean business. Yes. Yeah, that game will be in Charlotte, actually, uh, there at that Bank of America Stadium where the Panthers play uh, is where the uruguay Colombia game is going to be tomorrow night. Let me give you the numbers on all this stuff. Netherlands and England tomorrow, of course, we'll be on for it just like we were here for Spain and France as they're kicking off right when we come on the air for Coast to Coast. 90-minute line, England plus a buck 65 now. Netherlands plus 210, the draw at plus 180. To qualify, Scotty, as in take out the 90 anyway to move on, England minus 130 and even money for the Dutch. So, I mean, you tell me, uh, you know, I guess I'd lean England, but uh, what are you doing here? I lean England as well. Uh, I think they could absolutely lose the game. I know that kind of sounds like I'm hanging on both sides of the wire there, but uh, if I have to go one way, I think I would go England. And if I'm going to go England, I'll take them in the 90 minutes, uh, just like Spain did today, Scotty. I'll take England in the 90 uh, at plus 165. That's where I'll go. And then if it goes to extra time and penalties, you still on England to win? You know, England won on penalties in that last round for the first time at the Euros in, I think it was, what, 40 years uh, since the last time they won a penalty uh, at the Euros. I find it hard that lightning will strike twice for them. Uh, and I, I like the kickers. I like some of the uh, skill guys on the Netherlands. I would probably side Netherlands if that thing got to kicks. Whoa. Uh, honestly, Scott. I mean, uh, I think whoa. that I probably would. Uh, England's whoa. just got a history of losing them. I know they won it the other day, uh, but they just got such a history that I don't think they'd get it done twice in a row. Tonight, Copa, you mentioned Argentina and Canada. At MetLife, of course, these two teams opened up the Copa in Atlanta in the first game. They were in the same group. 90-minute line, Argentina minus three bills. Canada plus 850 to qualify. Argentina minus 550, Canada plus 380. I mean, I just no way to bet this and not just no end shot. up like grapefruit juice. I mean, it is just squeezed. I, I You have no – I mean, what are you going to do here? Like – uh, it's like uh, Marenzi said, pray to God they go to penalties and, and get the upset and you'd be rich. But, uh, you know, any way you slice that betting, those odds, it's Argentina, right? That, I mean, Argentina, I, Spain, I don't see how uh, these, te these teams like in the Copa and in the Euro, <laughs> I mean, they don't lose. They don't lose. Uh, I wouldn't, I'm not going after them. I know that there's some big numbers there for Canada. If you'd like to roll the dice tonight, I'm not going to be doing that. Uh, I think Argentina will win this probably in the 90 minutes. Uh, I'm not laying that down. I think the and only who do you like do the other one? The Colombia, Uruguay is the real game. I'm going to play Julian Alvarez at plus 155 for Argentina tonight, by the way. That's the only goal score I'm going to go after. So I'm going to play Alvarez. Uruguay and Colombia tomorrow night. Uh, you talk about dead even, Sky. Look at these numbers. Plus 180, Colombia. Plus 185, Uruguay. Plus 188 for the draw. I mean, it is as pick them, toss up, down the middle as you could possibly get. Uh, if you extended that even further and just go to the qualify number uh, for these two, it's minus 115 both ways. So a true pick them in a, a soccer match. Him. I well, like who do you Columbia. Like? You like Columbia. Columbia. Yeah. Well, they've won, what, what is it, 28 in a row? They're, I, they're, I just think they're they're playing better. Right now, I, I think that, look, I get it. They got to smash Panama. I guess that, that maybe a little recency bias there. It looks a little bit nicer. I love the way they played against Brazil. Uh, well, I just think that uh, this is the way uh, for me. They I beat think Argentina the in a final. I think they could. <laughs> I think they could, actually. Uh, I do believe that they could, that they could beat them. Uh, that number, by the way, you know, they're the second – this is tight too. Argentina minus 120, Colombia and Uruguay are both 3 to 1, and then Canada's 20 to 1. That's to win the Copa with four teams left. I think they could beat them. If if Argentina was that much better than the other two, they'd be a much bigger favorite. So I think that the winner of this Colombia Uruguay game 
absolutely has gas against them on Sunday night. Definitely. But you'd you'd rather see Uruguay, Argentina in the final. Um, no, I think that I would rather watch. I think Colombia. I think Colombia could beat them. Uh, I, I would back Colombia here. I think that's the team that I would want to go. All right, with, uh, and then the would you back Colombia against Argentina? Yes. Yes, I would. I, I think that that's they'll be dogs in that game, and I think that they would be uh, live dogs uh, in that match against Argentina. And then uh, if, if, if when Spain is in the final, uh, will they win the Euro against either England or Netherlands? Still Spain. Uh, they just went. They were down one nothing today. It was like nothing even phased them. They scored too quick, and they're like, and then they just shut them off. They didn't shut them down. They shut them off. It it would be very hard for me to bet against Spain on Sunday, no matter who they play. 